what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Texas Governor Greg Abbott said he plans on issuing an executive order next week with guidelines on opening up businesses. He said that we can save lives and livelihood at the same time. When asked whether the testing would be ramped up, he said that testing is a component. That don't sound too reassuring to me. So we got over 600 new cases of coronavirus just the other day. With that news, he decides to issue an executive order to reopen the state. So the restaurants and malls and I guess the concert venues, all these places where people, large crowds gather, they'll become accessible again. Let me tell you something, family. I don't give a damn what kind of executive order he issues. I'm staying my ass in the house. I'm going to continue to move like I've been moving. I get out and run an errand, fully masked, in and out, bam, back to the crib. No large crowds whatsoever. I'm going to continue to practice social distancing because I suspect the moment that he opens up the state, these fools are going to flock because they're robots. They're not listening to the experts. Greg Abbott is not an expert. He's a politician. And he has an ulterior motive to reopen the state as soon as possible. He's Donald Trump's boy. Trump wants the country reopened as soon as possible. And so you better believe he's had conversations with the governors that, that are in his pocket. Hey, uh, Greg, I just need to know you're with me because I'm ready to get this thing back open, man. You know, you know, we don't do this soon. You know, we're going to lose the election. <gasps> Can't lose the election. Let's open up. Kill every damn body. I bet you they wouldn't mind if they could win that election. This is all political. This is a political move. It has nothing to do with protecting the people. Uh, this whole thing about the economy. Look, we're going to be in much worse shape if more people die of this thing. They reopen the state and people start getting out there. The thing is not under control at all. That is totally stupid for him to do something like that. I mean, it don't make any sense whatsoever. We're not, the, the cases of coronavirus in America, let alone Texas, has not reached its peak. We're, we're not there yet. We, we haven't even hit the peak. So, yeah, this dude, he's slow. You see what you get, man, when you, when you, when you, when you go out there and you just vote for anybody? Just because they look like you. Just because they say a few pretty words that you agree with. You have to get competent people. And people who actually care about people. In order for you, the common person, to benefit from their time in office. Otherwise, it's just be a bunch of rich guys just eating off you. They looking out for their buddies. If you want to be able to benefit from your vote, from putting people in office, then you have to pick people who you really think, or who have a 
actually a track record already for putting the people first, looking out for the people. I just don't understand how people time and time and time again vote for people who have a shady record, a questionable record, a bad record with the people. They got politicians out there who have been in office for 30 years, ain't did nothing. You can't point to one thing. I bet you right now, every single person that's listening to this show, think about your town, your city, your state, and think. There is a person that, you, that comes to mind who ain't done nothing but been in office for 20, 30 years, ain't did nothing. And you got a whole lot of them out there, a whole bunch of do-nothing politicians. And all they do is talk tough. Tell you how they going to be tough on crime. Oh, they good with that, except the crimes that they commit. But everybody else, they got to get it. This is one more example as to why you never pick a hillbilly to represent the civilized. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?